Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, Bramble the Mountain King. Um, this wasn't originally the game that I was uh, going to play after Guild. Um, I was going to go for something a little bit more upbeat and happy. However, this <laughs> just happened to be on sale. So I was like, let's just keep the horror dark vibes going right into the festive season. Um, you know, happy holidays, all that jazz. Uh, apparently this game is very much like Little Nightmares and I love those games. So I'm keen to check this one out. Let's jump into it. I know squat all about it or how it works or what the story is as per usual. him up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story, he searched for his sister's comfort, but she was nowhere to be found. Okay, we're just being launched right into it. I think it would have been nice if we had have got some kind of cutscene showing the mother telling them a story, but anyways. Um, this is all I can do with the camera. So this is going to be interesting how much control I have in any situation. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, there we are. Jeez. The mouse sensitivity is unreal. I might have to turn that down a little bit. So I'm assuming Ollie and Lilimor? Lilmor? I think this is Scandinavian. Wow, that's a terribly dark hallway, far out. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. But soon, the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. The girl was afraid and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs and she could not get away. And the girl was never seen again. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimur, their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the story this is all based upon, and the story these kids were told at night, before bed, that spooked poor Ollie out. Uh, cool. I like looking at a matchstick, or a matchbox, I should say. I can't actually, like, do it. Oh, there we go. I can't, like, take a match out. Nope, we're just going to throw them all over the place. Fall out, come on. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need those. Didn't really seem like we could interact with them in any way. 
Oh, well, that's a nice painting. I think every child should have that in their room. The darkness outside scared him. Not being with his sister scared him even more. I feel like this is a very codependent relationship they've got going on. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. But at night, it was a different story. There was no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. Okay, so it's not Oli, it's like Ole. Lilemo? But if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. Yep, okay, gotta keep an eye out for little white dots, I guess. They're interactable things. Oh, cute. Little pine cone. Is this going to be like Hansel and Gretel? Are we going to get lost in the woods and have to find our way out? Ooh. Uh, it's telling me space to climb, but... Oh, okay. That was less of a climb and more of a jump. Hold on, what's this way? a little pinecone family or either that or they're sacrificing the big one I'm not quite sure okay so I don't know if there's going to be like collectibles or uh, you know places that are worth exploring nice okay that was more of a jump I mean more of a climb <laughs> I just... I don't know. Why would you want to be in a forest at night? There's just nothing about this which is appealing to me, and even as a child, nothing about this would have appealed to me. Uh, are we climbing up the log? Up you go. You're doing better than Lara Croft. She would have tried to fall a million times by now. Good job, kiddo. Ah, uh, nice. We're gonna go for a slide. I see the setup. Uh, okay. Oh, more pine cones. They're just everywhere. <laughs> this is odd. Okay, as always, when I'm not in control of the camera so much, it's hard to know the exact direction uh, to press in order to get them to move in the direction I kind of want. Um, classic case of them going off in a di diagonal sort of direction. Oh yeah, we did this already. Oh, hello, there's a key. Pick up the key, boy. Ole. 
I don't think that's how you pronounce his name either. I'm sorry, kid. I'm going to get your name wrong all the time. Well, okay, I just, I can't say. Nice. Nice. Good job. Oh, hello. It's a dragon. More pine cones. I wonder what relevance they're going to be to this story. Oh, you can't go up that way? Nope. All right. <gasps> All right. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I can't say. Probably shouldn't be going towards the light, but let's do it. Hello, lady person. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. <laughs> A spark of courage. Okay, just go off in that direction. <laughs> See if I care. Ah, beautiful moon. It's a full moon. Are we going to be dealing with werewolves? I can take environmental clues. Wow, this kid is Gollum. Look at him just clamber up the side of that. <laughs> All right, are we jumping up then? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, nice! Have to get him to, you know, face the right direction, which is incredibly difficult. Sister, is that you? Push her off, go. What do you have there? Lilimur asked. It glimmers beautifully. What a strange rock. White as a feather. She investigated closely. <gasps> Let us play, little brother. Lillamore bubbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. Okay, I'm assuming this is our combat tutorial. Wow, how is she just rotating on the spot? That's a bit creepy. Is she like the one that I should be worried about? many times do I need to whoa hey how do I hit something that's moving it like didn't even give me any kind of thing to aim at no I'm not ready oops sorry 
Look, do you want to pick it up? Stop! I'm not ever ready. How am I supposed to do this? was too soon we're gonna be here forever if this whole um, thing is dependent on me hitting this <laughs> oh thanks at least she's cheering me on Maybe we weren't supposed to hit it when she was throwing it. <laughs> the end? Okay, that confuses me about the mechanics though. Am I gonna have to throw this at something? Together, they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old ruin. At least the sun's up. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. Lila Moore said. She was never scared like him. Ule wished he could be a little more like his sister. Okay, there she is. I was like, where is she gone? Lila Moore loved adventures, and Ule loved Lila Moore. Okay, so it's Ule. It's probably the closest I'm going to get to pronouncing it correctly, and then she's. Lilemur, I think. Well, so I love how we just went from nighttime to daytime in like the blink of an eye. Why is that a good idea? This is Hansel and Gretel. Like a Scandinavian version of Hansel and Gretel. Yes, evil fairies. Makes sense. Alright, the camera's going this way. I'm just going to follow it. <laughs> uh, well, I'm here. Are we supposed to be doing something? Hello? I, I can't crouch any more than I already am. Uh, 
Uh, I can't sort of move anywhere. Okay, there we are. I had to walk into her, apparently. I don't know how far up this bell has to go. There we are. <laughs> Look, this gnome looks all cute and cuddly now, but just wait until night time. It's going to grow fangs and try to eat us. Gnomes are peculiar and playful creatures. They live peacefully in daylight and keep in their houses at night. Visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of until this day. Peacefully during the day. What happens at night? Why do they stay indoors? Alright, I just yoink that. Ha 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 Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about that mouse sensitivity, otherwise it might make me uh, nauseous. We'll just see how it goes. Is that a little hedgehog? Oh, could we be friends with the hedgehog? Oh, you got this muscles, come on. Have you tried pulling it? Some of them got stuck on the terrain there. What are we doing about that? Hi guys. <laughs> okay. Playing hide and seek. I can get on board with this. <laughs> Maybe. It'll probably take me forever to like find the last one. That's generally how this goes, right? <laughs> it's not one hiding behind my sister. Not one hiding in the hedgehog. I mean, that's a ladder. Nothing on the roof. Okay, that's as far as I can go. There's one. Don't you ooh ooh me. I'll find you. We'll see how peaceful things get in the evening, huh?
This one took forever to find. Far out. Pretty sure it was right next to another one too. Uh, okay, but now what? I found you all. Can we leave? How friendly they are come evening, huh? Are they mandrakes? What the mess? We have to round them up. How am I doing that? Oh gosh. Okay, let's just do this one at a time and hopefully they stay put, hey? In you go. Get in. My sister. Oh, what? Hey! My sister is not helping in the slightest. Oh gosh, there's so many. Get in, you stupid. Naked flower? Get in! In! Yeah, you're doing good. In you go. Okay, apparently that counts. Get in. You're next. Go on. Move. Move. Get in. Excellent. You. Move. Alright, last one. Where are you? It's always one. Always one that has to be difficult. Alright, let's go for this one. I have to get it like around the door. Perfect! Yes, in you go. Go, get in. Jeez, these gnomes are like, let's put them to work and then we'll murder them. I don't know how the save system works. Okay, restart from checkpoints. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for auto saves, I guess. I haven't seen one, but I also haven't been looking for them. So let's just see what happens. I will have to end this video soonish. get him to run in a straight line. Well, jump! Good job.
had a crown on. What kind of king of the toads was that? Alright, still no autosave. Lily more. Where be ye? Good note. Yeah, good job, buddy. Who? Oh gosh, okay, okay, hey, 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 in a straight line, in a straight line. I was just gonna say, bets on if this log is gonna move or not. This can be a nice place to end it if we're going down a well. They were both curious in different ways, while Lillimor quickly ran along. Ule could get completely enthralled. And suddenly, Ole was alone again. Well, alone with a fairy guide. Alright, I'm going to leave this video here. We can see what happens uh, tonight in the next video.